Charles and Melissa Fletcher still remember the questions they received after converting their family's conventional dairy to a pasture-based seasonal operation in 1997. A lot of people came down the driveway wondering what was going on. Um, I, I've always said if I had $5 for every car that came down the drive, we wouldn't have to milk cows because we'd be millionaires. Fifteen years later, hundreds visit the Fletcher's operation each year to view one of the most productive and profitable grazing dairies in Missouri. Today, Charles and Melissa, along with their children Tyler and Michaela, milk 320 cows on their farm, Edgewood Dairy, in Purdy, Missouri. I think our greatest accomplishment is the fact that we've been successful in building a model that, that other people want to come and repeat. Charles started milking 75 cows and managing eight poultry houses with his father, brother, and brother-in-law in the early 1990s. But his rising input costs continued to affect the farm's profitability. In the mid-1990s, Charles knew they either had to liquidate their herd or change their conventional way of dairying. Well, in 1997, I, I went to the grazing school and uh, uh, learned some interesting things about grass and how to use it. We'd always use grass in our dairy, but not we didn't actually manage our grass. So this was an opportunity to, to, to actually begin to manage the grass and allocate a certain amount to the cows. Charles eventually opened Edgewood Dairy in Purdy, Missouri, which houses 52 five-acre paddocks. He uses a rising plate meter to calculate each paddock's forage. We used to feed somewhere in the neighborhood of 24 to 25 pounds of grain per cow per day in a, in a year, and now we're down to half that, around 10 pounds of grain per cow per year. Our veterinarian costs are, are half of what they used to be. So we've seen a lot of the, the operational costs decrease by half or, or more than half. The herd's breeding cycle is scheduled so the entire herd calves at once. When these labor-intensive tasks are complete, the Fletchers have more time to relax as a family. When Charles started the grazing dairy, it was a a different style of, of Darien and we were able to have a little bit more laid-back lifestyle. Charles's grazing success has earned him national recognition. In 2008, he was named Innovative Dairy Farmer of the Year. Charles also spends time off the farm speaking to groups about grazing, including at DFA's grazing conference and during field days sponsored by DFA Grazing. It's important for us to share the knowledge that, that we have gained on this farm, so we'd like to keep our farm open to other producers and show them a lower cost alternative to dairying and, and, a, and an easier low cost way to start dairying. Since the beginning, the Fletchers have been grateful to be part of a cooperative that has allowed them to focus on their operation. A DFA just makes it easy for us to do our job out here on the farm. We don't have to worry about our quality testing and all those things. We can just easily go onto my DFA and, and look up our components or our quality and look at our cell counts. For adopting an unconventional model of dairying to ensure success in the future, we are pleased to congratulate the Fletcher family, this year's Southeast Area Members of Distinction.